Hello friends, I am Omkar. In this lecture, we will discuss a simple C program to print a message on the screen. We start with a header file, hash include stdio.h. Here, we are including the header file stdio.h. This file is for standard input output. Header files are included to use predefined functions in a program. This is written in link section. Hash include stdio.h is a preprocessor statement. It instructs a compiler to include predefined functions in a program. So now we can use functions defined in stdio header file. The next header file is hash include conio.h. It means console input output. In our example, we are using CLR and get ch functions. These functions are predefined in conio.h. CLR SCR function is used to clear the screen and get ch function is used to hold the output window until any key is pressed on a keyboard. Thus, initially we have included the header file. Now, after this, we write the main function. It is the essential part of a program. The main function starts with opening curly bracket and ends with closing curly bracket. It consists of declaration part and executable part. In this simple program, we just want to print a message. Therefore, there is no need of declaration part. Here, we require a function which will print a message. We are using printf. Its a syntax is printf in round brackets in double inverted commas message is written. We will write printf c programming. The statement is terminated by semicolon. Now the output of this program will print c programming at the output. Before starting a program, I am using CLR SCR and to hold the output, get ch function is used in the end. We terminate the main program with closing curly bracket. After writing a program in an editor, it is saved with .c extension. For example, if your program name is my program, then it is saved as myprogram.c. After storing a program, to compile a program, Alt plus F9 is pressed. And to run a program, Ctrl plus F9 is pressed. In this lecture, we have started with this simple program. We will discuss further about C programming in the upcoming lectures. Thank you.